Captain's log started at 73500. We've been assigned with an important mission, producing ray spears for the Empire of the Rustations. Our vessel in orbit has picked out a good location and guess what? Our arch enemies CP Pork and Gophers are already there. But I guess my highly trained engineer will know what to do here. Thanks, Captain. I'm Professor Dr. Snidely, just in case you didn't know, and I have been best in class pretty much everywhere I've ever been and with everything I've ever touched or even looked at. Our goal here is to set up a production facility and the necessary infrastructure for producing ray spheres. And the Rustations, the proud race of Rustations, uses cargo for this. It is a high-end tool to do just the right thing. Cargo New should set up a new facility right away. Unfortunately, there is not much that we can tell it uh, to customize that initial creation, so we have to do that afterwards. As you can see, it creates a source subdirectory right away and puts a file in that that should be lib.rs. I mean, I've been studying that tool and I can tell you, I am a master of my trade. So what I will do now is to basically just uh, restructure, reorganize it so that it fits better into the existing infrastructure that we have landed on, right? The cargo tommel is basically what we want to modify here. And as you can see, for some reason, there's not much in there. You might ask yourself, what did we just do? Well, we have created the basic configuration for a library and uh, there's not much in it that would convey that information that we have actually a library. This is one thing that I don't really understand about Cargo, whereas our beloved mother tongue Rust is very explicit. Cargo tends to be very implicit, probably in an effort to make it simpler, but on the other hand, why not make explicit what you're actually doing and put in, you know, just write the values here. That would help tremendously, I think, especially to newcomers who ask themselves, why is this not there? What I'm doing now is setting up a library and a binary. It's just that when we want to produce ray spheres, we want to do it right. So we separate our actual ray sphere production facility into the library, whereas the main driver of that will be in main. That will be its own binary that we can just use whenever we please to. Of course, the cargo tommel, the main configuration file for our um, utility cargo here, shouldn't be in the source directory. So I move it up and uh, see if we can at some point build something useful here. Let's see if that actually works. Before testing, we still have to set up our main executable that I'm preparing right here. For now, it doesn't do much. It should just import the created library so that it has the possibility to use it in some way. While writing this, I realized that Rust Tracer isn't a great name for a library, so I just rename it to Tracer right now by adjusting a few values here and there. You can see it with your own eyes. No need to comment. Cargo build will now show and prove that our work was perfect and that it just works, which, I mean, this error there, it must be a bug in cargo, but even that cannot be because it's restation and it's perfect. And I'm perfect, so what could it be? Let's have a look. Something it must be. Fail to parse manifest at cargo tommel. What does it try to tell me? Oh, wait. Could not parse input as tommel. So apparently, possibly, I put a syntactical error into my TOML file, which could be because sometimes I think TOML is actually YAML, and YAML will take basically any kind of stuff that I write there, whereas TOML is a bit more restrictive on what it expects to see. So our path here just have to be strings to work. Yes, of course, I could have known that, but I was in YAML mode. Technically, that makes it not my fault. Just to clarify this, I'm still best in class here, all right? And uh, yeah, uh, let's use some array syntax here. So in Tomal format, if you put, um, you know, these parentheses, these, you know, you see them there, then you basically say you want to have multiple bin entries in your primary hash table that it creates. And this is what just what I'm doing here. So what else is there? Is it working already? It should be. 
oh yeah, I realized that I messed up the structure, which I don't want to say that I messed up anything. I just said that I mistakenly built the wrong structure here. So cargo.toml should be in the top level of our facility here and uh, not in the source subdirectory. Last thing, of course, it needs to have proper values for the library and the binary that we want to create. I'm struggling finding a good name here, but Tracer seems to be quite all right, whereas the binary should be named Rtrace. Let's try to build it then, shall we? Oh no, could not compile. What is it? Expected semicolon found fn. This can't be happening. I always forget these nasty semicolons, but now it works. So main does compile. We have an rtrace binary here. Let's see what's up next. Oh yeah, it told us that it doesn't want to see lib in array and I just say good bin is also not an array but now it tells me that no, bin has to be an array. Why is it? Why is lib not an array type and bin is has to be? Tell me about it. I don't know but I will just follow orders here. No, that's not the right one, that's the right ones. Oh, it works, it just works. Let's do some more testing. Tests run. As you can see, tests test it works exactly it's terrific it's awesome we are just the best and the last thing to be done here to be perfectly production ready is to have a separate location for all of our test cases that we are going to have all I have to do to do that is create a new rust source file where I throw in all the tests which I will later basically include into my librs. Librs is like a hub that pulls in all the other submodules that we want to use and takes care of nothing but importing and publicly exporting interfaces. That's quite a nice way to do it because you exactly have one uh, place where to look at. So mod test is exactly what we want to do here. You might have noticed my tiny mistake there that will cause in a compilation error any moment now. Oh, yes, there we go. That's a semicolon missing one more time. Actually, that wasn't my mistake. I was just testing you. The last thing to verify is our main executable, which can conveniently be run using cargo run. Tracer in it, that shows that it does work. I hand back to our captain. Well done, Dr. Snidely. This makes us ready for phase two of our uh, operation. That and more in our next episode of Trace Quest 5.